What are they selling, Kevin? Well, Swire Pacific is selling a U.S.-based beverage distributor. It's in 13 states, um, mostly on the West Coast. And it's selling it as a day after a developer in Hong Kong called New World um, is selling a property kind of group of assets to an internal sh its major shareholder. So we have two major shareholders in two separate companies within two days of each other buying assets from the listed entities, essentially to give them some extra cash. Does this signal any signs of concern or, or a lack of confidence with these firms? It doesn't seem so because these are controlling holders in both of these firms that are injecting assets into or ex injecting cash, excuse me, into these companies. But really, this really boils down to the interest rates being higher for longer. I mean, central banks around the world have indicated that there's not going to be any near-term interest rate cuts. If anything, we might see some more interest rate increases, like with the ECB, with the EU, with the UK. So these companies are really kind of setting themselves up for making sure they have enough liquidity, enough cash to make sure that they can ride out any extended long term. We have obviously have seen what's happened with Chinese property developers the last two years and the liquidity crunch that they have faced. And the, certainly these Hong Kong companies don't want to uh, find the same fate.